Hello and welcome to this presentation of the Global Trust Zone Controller, which is included in all products of the STM32L5 microcontroller family. In addition to the ARMv8M Trust Zone security extension in Cortex M33, the STM32L5 microcontroller series comes with complementary security features that reinforce in a flexible way the isolation between the secure and the non-secure worlds. It also provides a second level of security for the Cortex M33 after the SAU and IDAU Trust Zone protection. This GTZC training module is composed of three subunits corresponding to each component inside GTCZ. The Trust Zone Security Controller, or TZSC, the Block Based Memory Protection Controller, or MPCBB, the Trust Zone Illegal Access Controller, or TZIC. In addition to assigning a secure attribute, the GTZC also controls the privileged attribute that can be used even when Trust Zone is disabled. The setting of the secure attribute can be performed at any time by the secure boot firmware unless the configuration is locked. Two types of peripherals are implemented in the STM32L5. Securable peripherals, which are protected by an AHBAPB firewall gate controlled by GTZC. Trust zone aware peripherals, which implement a specific trust zone behavior such as a subset or register being secure. Trust Zone Aware AHB Masters always drive the AHB5H non-sec signal according to their security mode. Cortex M33 Core and DMA are masters. Securable peripherals drive their optional AHB5H non-sec signal according to the security mode set in GTZC. Like with Trust Zone, a peripheral can be made privileged only with GTZC. In this case, if this peripheral is master on the interconnect, it automatically issues privileged transactions. GTZC provides the capability to manage the security for all securable external memories, the security of blocks of securable embedded memories. This figure highlights the various security mechanisms present in the STM32L5 that are controlled by the GTZC. MPCBB1 and 2 set the secure attribute of SRAM1 and SRAM2 blocks. MPCWM1, 2 and 3 define the secure address ranges in the external memories accessible from OctoSPI1 and FSMC. PPC assigns secure and privileged attributes to AHBAPB securable peripherals and also checks the access permissions. SecPriv gate assigns secure and privileged attributes to APB securable peripherals and also checks the permissions. The security master wrapper assigns the security attribute to the SDMMC1 master. As DMA is trust zone aware IP, it does not require any external wrapper. The TZIC reports illegal accesses to the Cortex M33 core through a secure interrupt request. This figure details the operation of the three GTZC subunits. The TZSC is in charge of assigning the secure and privileged attributes of securable peripherals and masters. The MPCBB is in charge of assigning the secure attribute of internal SRAM blocks. The TZIC signals illegal accesses to the Cortex M33 core. Illegal accesses can occur internally or externally to the GTZC when a non-secure access to a secure memory mapped registers is attempted. The GTCZ supports three independent AHB interfaces for configuring the TZSC, the MPCBB and the TZIC. The GTZC is a trust zone aware peripheral. The MPCBB and TZIC are accessible only with secure transactions but the TZSC can be used for non-secure firmware to set the privileged attribute of non-secure peripherals. Any attempt to access a secure resource while running in non-secure state can cause an illegal access interrupt generation. The TZSC is in charge of setting the secure and privileged attributes to securable peripherals, securable masters that are not trust zone aware. The TZSC is in charge of setting the secure attribute to external memories. The MPCBB is in charge of setting the secure attribute to internal SRAM blocks. 
The TZSC provides the configuration of secure and privileged attributes for all securable peripherals. It's itself a trust unaware peripheral because it contains a mix of secure and non-secure registers. The watermark start and length register pairs defined non-secure regions per protected external memory, defined secure by default. These registers are only accessible in secure state. In STM32L5, five non-secure areas can be defined this way. Two in OctoSPI address range, two in FSMC NOR address range, one in FSMC NAND address range. The SEC CFGR registers set the secure attribute of peripherals. These registers are only accessible in secure state. They can be restricted to privileged state according to the PRIV CFGR register setting. The PRIV CFGR registers set the privilege attribute of peripherals. These registers are only accessible in privileged state. They can be restricted to secure state according to the SEC CFGR register setting. The power on and reset state of the TZSC clears all the bits of the SEC CFGR X and the PRIV CFGR X registers to zero, which respectively means non-secure, unprivileged or non-privileged. The MPC block-based configures the secure attribute of internal SRAM 256-byte blocks. Each of them has a corresponding control bit. The MPCBB is only accessible in secure state. MPCBBCR is a control register. The secure read-write illegal access disabled bit determines whether secure data accesses are permitted to non-secure SRAM blocks. The MPCBB vector registers are bitmaps, each bit corresponding to an internal SRAM chunk of 256 bytes. Each bit in MPCBB lock vector registers locks the secure mode of corresponding 8 kilobyte superblock until the next reset. A superblock contains 32 blocks of 256 bytes. This figure details the various sources of illegal accesses and their signaling to the Cortex-M33 core through a secure interrupt request. The TZSC assigns secure and privileged attributes to securable peripherals. Whenever a non-secure access to a secure peripheral is attempted, an illegal access is reported to the TZIC concentrator. The MPC watermark controller determines which areas of external memories are non-secure. Whenever a non-secure access to a secure area is attempted, an illegal access is reported to the TZIC concentrator. The MPC block-based controller assigns the secure attribute to internal SRAM blocks. Whenever a non-secure access to a secure block is attempted, an illegal access is reported to the TZIC concentrator. Finally, trust zone aware peripherals report an illegal access when a non-secure access attempts to access a secure resource. The TZIC concentrator receives all these illegal access reports and signals the error to the Cortex-M33 core through a secure interrupt request. The TZIC gathers all illegal access events and generates a maskable global secure interrupt towards the NVIC. Only secure accesses are allowed to TZIC registers. It supports three types of registers. Illegal access event mask, illegal access event status, illegal access event clear. By default, all illegal access events are masked. Any non-privileged transaction trying to access a privileged resource is considered as illegal. There is no illegal access event generated for this type of illegal access. The addressed resource follows a silent fail behavior, returning all zero data for read and ignoring any write. No bus error is generated. The GTZC has relationships with the following modules. Nested Vectored Interrupt Controller, or NVIC, Trust Zone, or TRZ.